Hey there, magic one. Welcome to your tarot reading for the week. I really hope that you are staying blessed. I've just called in to say a big hi and to let you know what I've been working on. I'm actually currently chipping away at the March uh, monthly tarot readings. Yes, chipping away because it does take a lot of time. So I'll be releasing them across the next um, two or three weeks, hopefully two. So keep an eye out for your sign. There's also extended versions of those available this uh, this time around. So if the if the message really resonates for you and perhaps you don't want to get a personal reading um, you can for a very small donation uh, jump into a more deep and clarified version of that reading so I'll all the details will be in the reading when you see your sign pop up you can you can find that out if you do want a personal reading or healing I am available for those and you'll find the link to my website down below where you can arrange that uh, the doors are always open to the initiation that is my immersive learn tarot journey should you want to really learn to to connect more deeply with your own intuition and guide yourself i'd love to take you on that journey with me but for now i am wishing you a week of love and magic thanks for, for joining me for your reading let's head across now Welcome to your tarot reading for March 7th to the 13th. Let's see what may be on the cards for you. I've got the nine card block here, Taurus. Three for the recent past, three focused energy this week, three for the near future outcome. I've got a couple of oracles, elite tarot energy, and I've turned over the bottom of the deck for you. Um, this week I'm working with the Work Your Life Oracle, Sacred Power Reading Cards. I have the Moon Child and Star Child Tarot from Danielle Knoll and the Radiant Rider Weight deck here. So Taurus, interesting situation here playing out. You can see so many cups here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are dealing in the realm of partnership, relationship, or emotional matters. Now, I'm not seeing this being limited to love here, but this is something to do with a person that was a trusted, um, a trusted party, and you really thought that this was going to go places, whether it was like a you know colleagueship, friendship, or a romantic partnership. But I feel that that has not been the case or will not be the case. That there is some things to be aware of here. So we will get to that. Um, I'll start over here with the oracles. The first one is awakening. And the second one is protection. So I feel like you might be awakening to the fact that maybe you actually need to protect yourself from this person. Or protect your energy from this person. Because they may not just be what they seemed or what they told you. Okay. So it feels like you are intuitively kind of sensing this. And really, you know, you know, you're needing to maybe have some conversations with them or, you know, ask them about their intentions is what I'm feeling. Um, Queen of Pentacles is here as your lead energy. Now, this could be, it's generally a Capricorn energy for me, but it's Earth sign and it could represent you stepping into Queen Energy Taurus in this reading. It's saying that you need to nurture yourself Protect yourself potentially, and, I, and I'm feeling protect yourself financially. One, two, three cards of pentacles. It could be protect yourself um, in the workplace, you know, protect your reputation, protect your work, protect your money, um, something like that. There could be someone trying to move in on you for one of those reasons. So that is what I'm feeling. Let's see how this plays out, Taurus. We've got the Two of Cups, Ace of Cups, and King of Cups here in the recent past. Now, you're either dealing, I'm feeling, with a water sign or a fellow earth sign. Um, this person definitely presented as somebody who was extremely trustworthy, okay? Um, the King of Cups is generally somebody who has your back. So it could have been somebody that really came in on an emotional level and was like, no, well, you know, I'll, I'll be there for you. I've got your back. You know, you can rely on me. You can trust me and that type of thing. Now, the, queen, the king of cups in the other face, you know, if there's a unstable king of cups can be emotionally manipulative, maybe gaslighting, telling you what you want to hear. 
So we have to be really mindful of that. But this connection's definitely started with the kind of promise that it has the potential growth, that it fills your cup. I think there is some kind of chemistry here, whether it's like friendship chemistry or romantic um, chemistry. And I feel that you might have leapt into this, right? Feet first. And the cards are saying, well, slow down and just stock take here. Your intuition is actually, you know, is actually really uh, telling you something here. So you want to just slow things down is what I'm sensing. In the current focus energy Taurus, I've got the moon with the five of pentacles and the knight of cups. It's generally a Pisces energy for me. I've actually got both cards of Pisces here with the moon and the knight of cups. Now, what I see in the moon is the tame dog wild wolf situation where it's like the wolf in sheep's clothing or somebody presenting it as the king of cups, yet on the flip side or underneath, there is an agenda, right? There is something happening in the shadows here, the moon. And intuitively, I think you, well, you might not have felt it at the start because I think that you're maybe swept away in this situation, but you're beginning to, that's beginning to be revealed to you, okay? So that's the moon for me. Something's not quite right here. Um, something's happening in the shadows. Maybe there's a secret that they haven't exposed to you um, or some kind of agenda. The Five of Pentacles is at the center of the reading and it's, it is an energy of, of loss or lack. So, you know, you know, I don't like giving these readings, but I'm reading the energy of the cards. It could be that this person has an agenda to to take something from you, right? It could be money. It could be an opportunity. They could be connecting with you, you know, for that reason to somehow manipulate a situation. So the Five of Pentacles is somebody who feels like they, uh, you know, have been taken from. They're in lack. They're in scarcity. And, you know, really feeling into the misery of that. So I guess the message is that we need to trust well, basically, we need to be awake and aware and tuned to energy first. And then, you know, our intuition will tell us when we do need to protect ourselves from a person or, you know, let them into, you know, a certain amount. But, you know, maybe we are, you know, not uh, fully forming, um, you know, we're not signing contracts with them. We're not saying we're going to be in a relationship with them. It needs time. But I feel like something's going to happen that's going to have you walk away eight of cups, okay? I think you're going to realize that this person wasn't actually the knight in shining armor or didn't actually have the, the missing piece that you thought they did, that it was an illusion, okay? Moon energy. That's what I'm feeling. We've got seven of cups and the moon, which is like a fantasy energy, an illusion energy. And the seven of cups for me can be somebody who is doing a lot of talk but not following through with the action okay someone who is all talk and you know no follow through hollow promises um promising the world and delivering little that is what i'm feeling maybe to benefit themselves maybe to benefit their own ego look i see the the leo lion here bearing down on this so i think that through some intuition or maybe through Something that somebody in your network, Three of Pentacles, your workplace, your network, your friendship group may tip you off to is going to have you, I feel, walk away from this situation, Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups shows that somebody who has tuned into the moon energy, right? The undercurrent, something's not quite right here. My intuition's going crazy. You know, I'm feeling the need to protect myself. Is going to have you walk away, but there's going to be a part of you, Seven of Cups, who is still kind of confused and wonders sort of what if. But the Seven of Cups for me, Taurus, is this energy of bright and shiny on the outside, but what is really behind that smoke screen? Um, when I see the Seven of Cups in a reading, say if this is you know about somebody who's engaging with you in business, I would say get the fine tooth, tooth comb out look through that contract, you know, really get clear on intentions before you sign on dotted lines. In a relationship, I would say, if it's someone new coming in, take it slow, get to know their friends, get to know how they handle themselves in stressful situations so that you can really see, you know, what is behind what I'm feeling is a very well-polished 
facade, somebody who is very good at presenting as the King of Cups, somebody who is there for you, somebody who is emotionally available, but that could all be part of the game. And unfortunately, people do, you know, use that agenda sometimes. Knight of Swords here it could be a Gemini energy. The Knight of Swords is an, this energy of moving too fast sometimes, and it can be somebody who can be irrational, unreasonable, or argumentative when that other side, that Jekyll and Hyde energy, is is triggered. Four of Pentacles, yeah, and this is an energy of fear as well, and sometimes it's an energy of shutting off the heart and protecting the heart. So I think the cards are saying, slow down, don't move too fast, protect your heart, don't buy into fantasies or illusions. You're going to need to explore this further before you do potentially connect with this person. But there could actually be a circumstance here, Five of Pentacles, where there is a loss that may happen, you know, if we don't trust the intuition that's going to have you, you yeah, most definitely walk away from this person and the situation. So Taurus, it's a simple and clear message here. I do wish you all the best if this is for you. Do keep in mind that it is a general reading for the collective. It's also quite specific. It will not be for everybody. Um, hit subscribe if you haven't already. And also drop me a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, it's a great way to support the channel as well as is when you like, share, uh, comment and subscribe. And that's a great energy exchange between us. Taurus, I'm wishing you all the best. I'll see you back here next week for another reading. Bye for now.